we're looking at the famous Basel problem. Not that Basel. The Basel problem asks us for the sum of the reciprocals of the positive integers. It was originally solved by Leonard Euler. This is his solution. We will develop two infinite series for the function sine of x. One series will be an infinite sum, the other an infinite product. The infinite sum is a power series. The exponent on the x increases with each term. We need to determine the coefficients. When we evaluate sine x at x equals zero, all the terms disappear except for the first. When x equals zero, the first term is zero. Next, we take the derivative of everything. This action isolates the next coefficient. When we again evaluate at x equals zero, we discover this coefficient to be one. We continue this pattern, taking derivatives, evaluating at zero, isolating the constant. Our final outcome looks like this. We are interested only in the coefficient for x cubed. It's negative one-sixth. We'll keep that in mind. Next, we create our infinite product for sine x. We need to consider all the zeros of the function. That would be all the integral multiples of pi. Each zero provides one factor of the product. We can combine the factors into pairs. Now we need to determine the scaling factor a. We shift everything under the sign x, isolating the a. We again wish to evaluate at x equals zero. We can take advantage of the fact that the limit of sine x over x as x approaches zero is one. We now have our scaling factor. And remember, x equals zero. When we combine a with our other factors, we can tidy up the expression nicely. How do we multiply an infinite product? It gets busy very fast. But remember, we only want the coefficient of x cubed. Eventually, a pattern emerges. The x cubed coefficient equals negative one-sixth. Remember? We can lose the negative signs, factor out the first term, shuffle over the pi squared, and Bob's your uncle.